It doesn't get better than this. I'm doing yoga with some lovers and alpacas. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> 24 hour gay over with Robbie around the world. I just landed in Atlanta and now I'm gonna show you some really amazing options of where to stay. If you want a swanky, art-forward, chic hotel, check out the Canopy by Hilton Midtown Hotel. For an experience with llamas and alpacas, stay at the Alpaca Treehouse Farm. This treehouse is surrounded by a bamboo forest and the farm is filled with rescue animals. Now let's learn what gives people life and energy here in Atlanta. What lights you up the most about the city? Um, probably the mean. The arts, the vibes, you know, the networking, the big business, the entrepreneurship, everybody's hustling and bustling, making something happen. The nightlife, the food. The local neighborhoods, which have evolved immensely over the past few years. The fact that I can enjoy being a pansexual, a makeup artist, and a lover of souls. I love how the city is very accepting. The variety. I mean, you never know what you're gonna get. The rawness. Like, it's just still kind of coming together. Neighborhoods are being built everywhere. And just kind of seeing artists being a part of the growth, other creatives just kind of growing in the city and doing their thing. So that's my favorite part. Just having Atlanta to be a place that can grow and thrive and be ever-changing, like, is super important. The sense of community for me. Turn the state blue, which, like, nobody saw coming. So that was great to see. The sheer amount of people and the amount of diversity here. There's just so many. I've met so many different people that I just completely opened up my mind to who I could be, I guess. You know, it's a very accepting city. The fact that you can go 15 minutes in any direction and be in a completely different culture. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born here, so the civil rights movement has like the heartbeat in the city. So when you take that sort of progressive history with Southern hospitality, I think Atlanta is such a special place. Now it's time to see this city. Insta shot, Hanny. So you come to the Jackson Street Bridge right over here. After all that sightseeing, let's dive into the queer history. You know, this is the home of not just gone with the wind. Uh, this is uh, where the uh, Civil War ended. Uh, this is where, of course, the home, the birthplace of the Civil Rights Movement, the home of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And then when we look at LGBTQ history, uh, the first black gay-owned nightclub was established here. Really? The Marquette Lounge. But the owner of the uh, Marquette, he uh, provided a safe haven for a trans person that was being bullied. And once that happened, that trans person told uh, her friends and so on and so on and so that's that's how it became a uh, Atlanta's first black gay nightclub is actually the nation's first because there was no black gay owned nightclub in the country and the first pride march didn't start until like after Stonewall uh, down here in the south and it was just a march protest march queer people are able to come here and be their authentic selves I mean myself included I mean I was not out before I moved to Atlanta, and then when oh, I wow. moved here, I said, I'm, I'm gonna live my truth, I'm who I am. And on the, my very first day of my job here in Atlanta, I told my team that I had a boyfriend. And it was so empowering, and so oh Atlanta really becomes, I think, a really safe haven for people, you know. Do you feel like there's been a massive change um, since the state went blue? Oh my gosh, so not only is it amazing that our state went blue, um, Stacey Abrams is a wonderful, a wonderful person who, you know, advocates for equal rights for everybody in voter advocacy. Um, the city of Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, she is a, an extreme advocate for LGBTQ rights. And so, but I mean, even before that, it's just Atlanta is such a 
a progressive city and so welcoming. And so when you take that Southern hospitality with like an international airport and you have people visiting here from all over the country and all over the world, I mean, I think that really resonates with people because Atlanta, it feels like home. It really does feel like home. So let's get into the culinary scene. Flower Child is farm fresh and will quench your vegan, paleo, or gluten-free palate. Flying Biscuit is hands down the best spot for brunch any day of the week. Zacalo is authentic upscale Mexican food with a veggie burrito that melts in your mouth. Antico is family owned brick oven pizza that is perfect for your late night food option. Slutty Vegan is black owned plant based food and extra AF. After that fussy hussy, let's get into the queer nightlife. Start your night off at Ainsley Square, which is a shopping complex with queer bars and queer clothing stores. Hit up Brushstrokes Pleasures for your tank tops, socks, and jocks. Oscars is super divey with eye candy for days. Midtown Moon has a chic interior and offers extravagant shows every week. My Sister's Room is one of 21 lesbian bars still standing in the US as of today, and it is super fun with sick beats, and here I am being a les bro. End the night at Blake's, a staple in Atlanta to dance the night away. After this night, I need just the tip. Okay, just the tip. Just go with the flow. Atlanta has so much to offer. You can't really give somebody one corner because different areas of Atlanta have things that you should enjoy. Any appointment that you're gonna make, do not do it between 4.30 and 6.30 because traffic is trash. I'm just getting eaten alive here and... I mean, I'm used to a sensible mosquito in Pennsylvania, but these ones, like, they're in my back. Do not take Uber, take a Lyft, and you find yourself over by Piedmont Park and 10th Street, you'll have a really good time. Y'all, Atlanta is one of the most multicultural melting pots in the world, filled with art and graffiti, incredible street art that has messages, amazing vegan food, a very vast queer nightlife, Filled with animals, there's alpacas, there's llamas, there's sharks at the aquarium. We are in a city, in a state that turned blue for the first time ever, so change can happen. We must be progressive. We must continue to want to do better and, and strive for more. I want to thank Atlanta for welcoming me with open arms and tank tops. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next 24-hour gay over. 24 hour gay over with Robbie Robbie. Will I meet my next ex-husband here in Atlanta? Yes, you will. If you go to Edgewood Avenue and you go to church and you pray. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs>